Hello and welcome back. I'm Barbara O'Neill, and today we're diving into a topic that's especially important as we age, empowering your immune system. Your immune system is your body's defense against illnesses, and understanding how to support it. Supporting your immune system is vital, especially as we age. A strong immune system helps protect against illnesses and keeps you feeling vibrant and healthy. Barbara O'Neill introduces this important topic by emphasizing how crucial it is to maintain your immune defenses as you grow older. Start making small changes today to support your immune health and enjoy a better quality of life. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health tips and insights. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update and stay tuned for more ways to boost your well-being. 1. Skin. The first line of defense. I'd like to begin by looking at where the immune system starts. Now look at our human body. We've got a protection around the body. It's called skin. Is that right? Skin. And when you break the skin, you have to be careful. Because if you break the skin, now the flesh and the blood's exposed, and the microbes that are in the air, especially if there's some pathogens, they can get in there. Is that right? And it's like the little boy your skin is more than just a covering for your body. It's your first line of defense against the outside world. It acts like a barrier, protecting you from bacteria, viruses, and other harmful substances that could cause infections. When your skin is intact, it's tough for these invaders to get inside your body. But if you get a cut, scrape, or burn, that barrier is broken and germs can enter, leading to potential infections. Your skin also has other protective features, it produces natural oils that help keep it soft and strong, and it's home to beneficial bacteria that can fight off harmful microbes. Additionally, the skin's slightly acidic pH helps to prevent the growth of harmful bacteria. Keeping your skin healthy is crucial to maintaining this protective barrier. Simple habits like moisturizing regularly, staying hydrated, and using sunscreen can keep your skin in good condition. Two mucous membranes and the respiratory system. There are orifices. Let's have a look at the ears. Amazing protection in the ears. There's all these little hairs and then there's an eardrum to protect from any harmful pathogens getting in. Let's go to the eyes. What an amazing thing is the eye. If something hits you, you've got two bones there to protect it. And if something's flying through the air, you've got eyelashes and they blink and the blinking reflex and the lashes stop anything getting in the eye. But if something actually gets through that and into the eye, then we've got this mucus layer around the eye. It's heavy. If we breathe in pure air, it is so light, it goes straight through into the trachea and down into the lungs. But if it's got a bit of dust or something on it, it's heavier. Mucous membranes are one of your body's key defense systems, especially in the respiratory tract. These membranes line your nose, mouth, throat, and lungs, and they work hard to keep harmful germs and particles out of your body. The mucus they produce is sticky and traps dust, bacteria, and viruses before they can travel deeper into your system. This mucus is then either swallowed and destroyed by stomach acid or expelled from your body when you cough or sneeze. In your nose, tiny hairs called cilia play a crucial role in this process. They move the mucus, along with any trapped particles, toward the throat where it can be swallowed or expelled. This helps keep your lungs clear and healthy. Breathing through your nose instead of your mouth is also beneficial because it gives the air a chance to be filtered, warmed, and humidified before it reaches your lungs. 3. Hydrochloric Acid and Gut Health There is a major part of your immune system It's called hydrochloric acid. And if any harmful pathogens get into your stomach, your hydrochloric acid can wipe it out. The hydrochloric acid has quite a few roles. But what say your hydrochloric acid is low, and what say your um, gut bacteria is low? Do you remember when we went down into those areas? Your body has several layers of defense to keep you healthy, and mucous membranes are a key part of that system especially in the respiratory tract. These membranes line your nose, mouth, throat, and lungs, 
constantly working to trap and eliminate harmful particles like dust, bacteria, and viruses before they can reach deeper into your body. When you breathe in through your nose, tiny hairs called cilia and the mucus they produce catch unwanted invaders, preventing them from getting into your lungs. This process not only keeps your airways clear, but also helps reduce the risk of infections. The respiratory system's design is pretty impressive. For example, if something irritating enters your nose, you might sneeze. This is your body's way of quickly expelling that irritant. Similarly, coughing is another reflex that helps clear out anything that's made it past the initial defenses. 4. White Blood Cells – The Internal Army of white blood cells. So 62% of our white blood cells are neutrophils. They make up the most part of the white blood cells. And then 18% are monocytes. That's another type of white blood cell. And then 16% are made up of lymphocytes. Now lymphocytes, lympha, Lymphocytes are the white blood cell that's made in your lymph nodes. So your, your lymphatic system is like your body's vacuum cleaner. And what does your vacuum cleaner vacuum up? Waste. So your lymphatic system sucks and sweeps up waste from the tissues, takes it to the nodes. Your lymph nodes are in your neck, in your armpits. White blood cells are like the soldiers of your body's immune system constantly on patrol to protect you from harmful invaders like bacteria, viruses, and other pathogens. These cells are always on the lookout, ready to spring into action when something goes wrong. There are several types of white blood cells, each with its own specific role in defending your body. Neutrophils are the first responders. When you get an infection or an injury, they're the ones that rush to the site and start attacking the invaders. They work fast to prevent the infection from spreading. Then there are lymphocytes, which include T-cells and B-cells. T-cells help to destroy infected cells, while B-cells produce antibodies that target specific pathogens, helping your body remember how to fight them off in the future. Monocytes and macrophages are like the cleanup crew. They remove dead cells and other debris from your body. 5. Probiotics and Gut Flora The other types include lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils, and basophils. Each of these plays a specific role in our immune response. Lymphocytes are crucial for producing antibodies and targeting specific pathogens. Monocytes, which become macrophages, are essential for engulfing and digesting cellular debris and pathogens. Eosinophils are particularly important in combating parasitic infections and play a role in allergic reactions. Basophils release histamine and are involved in inflammatory responses. Maintaining a healthy gut flora is essential for overall health. Probiotics, which are live beneficial bacteria, and prebiotics, which are non-digestible fibers that feed beneficial bacteria, can support gut health. Your gut is home to trillions of bacteria, known as gut flora, that play a crucial role in your overall health. These bacteria help with digestion, support your immune system, and even influence your mood. Keeping your gut flora balanced is essential for staying healthy, and that's where probiotics come in. Probiotics are live beneficial bacteria that you can find in foods like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, and other fermented foods. They help replenish and maintain the good bacteria in your gut, ensuring your digestive system works smoothly. A healthy gut flora is important because it helps prevent harmful bacteria from taking over. When the good bacteria in your gut are strong and plentiful, they can crowd out the bad bacteria, reducing your risk of infections and digestive issues. Additionally, a balanced gut can improve nutrient absorption and reduce inflammation, both of which contribute to a stronger immune system. 6. The Role of Fevers in Immune Response So when we've got any type of problem in the body, what makes sense is to boost your white blood cells. That makes sense, doesn't it? Now, one way to boost them is a fever. And fevers have been used for centuries to boost the white blood cells to clean up any problems that might be in the body. And about every 10 minutes, you can get out of that hot, 
run down the steps and dive into the mountain stream. And if you're not agile enough to run down the steps, there is a cold shower that you can do there. Some people say, cold shower? I said, you're, gonna, you're wanting one because you get so hot. And then back in the steam bath. And you might do that for about another 10 minutes and then charge out and dive in the cool pool again. You only need the cool for about 10, 15 seconds and then back into the hot sauna. Now, by the time you've, you've been 10 minutes in the third session of heat, your body temperature is usually up to about 40 degrees. That's a fever, yeah? Now, when your body is up to a fever state, and remember the only part of your body that doesn't like getting hot is your brain. And because you're running and diving in the mountain pool and then running back and keeping the head cool, your brain, your brain keeps quite good. So when your body temp gets up to 40 degrees... Fevers are often misunderstood, but they actually play a vital role in your body's defense system. When you have a fever, it's your body's way of fighting off an infection. By raising your temperature, your body creates an environment that's less favorable for bacteria and viruses making it harder for them to survive and multiply. This rise in temperature also speeds up your immune response, helping your white blood cells work more efficiently to attack and destroy the invaders. While fevers can be uncomfortable, they're usually a sign that your body is doing its job. The increase in body temperature also boosts the production of certain immune cells, enhancing your body's ability to fight off the infection. In fact, Mild to moderate fevers are typically beneficial and part of your body's natural healing process. 7. The importance of oxygen for immune health. Your white blood cells sometimes can triple. Your metabolic rate increases by 400%. Wow. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Healing increases by 400%. Your, your blood zooming around your body. Now, why is your blood the healer? Let's have a look at blood. Why is it the healer or the life of the flesh? It contains red blood cells and it contains white blood cells. And there are your white blood cells there. So what does the red blood cells contain? They carry oxygen. Oxygen, the most vital element needed for life. Cancer cannot live in the presence of oxygen. Makes a lot of sense to boost oxygen. Red blood cells also carry your nutrients. They're carrying nutrients to the cell. Do you remember we've been looking at the CBD, the central business district of the human body, the inside working of the cells, what it is your, your blood that carries these nutrients and this oxygen to the cell. It also carries the water. And it also carries away the waste. Carries away waste. So, so no wonder it's called the life, the life of the flesh. The immune system is crucial for protecting our bodies from infections and diseases. White blood cells like neutrophils and lymphocytes act as frontline defenders. Oxygen is essential for every cell in your body, and it plays a crucial role in keeping your immune system strong. Your cells need oxygen to produce energy and function properly, and this includes the cells in your immune system. When your body is well oxygenated, your immune cells can move more efficiently through your bloodstream, quickly reaching areas where they're needed to fight off infections. Oxygen also helps your body heal. When you have an injury or infection, your body sends extra oxygen-rich blood to the affected area to speed up the healing process. This increased oxygen supply boost the activity of white blood cells, which are your body's main defense against harmful invaders like bacteria and viruses. Thanks for watching. I hope you found these tips helpful for boosting your immune system naturally. Taking care of your health is so important, and small changes can make a big difference. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who might benefit from these insights. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health tips and advice. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Your support means a lot to us. Stay healthy and see you in the next video.